Ah, delicious. How's it going guys? And welcome back for a brand new video here on the Onyx Wheel. This right here must be episode 2 and the grace period is still active. We have a lot to do this episode, so I'm gonna go ahead and make the intro pretty short. Make sure you like this video here and comment down below. Just comment something, it really does help with the statistics. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, click the bell to join your daily dose of Dexter. But without further ado, let's go ahead and dig straight into it. Earlier today, somebody actually bought me two packs of chocolate. If we do slash claim, we can see they are right there. Let's go ahead and redeem both of those. And let's go ahead and open up these bad boys and cross our fingers that we get a sharp 7. Sharp 7 is probably the most overpowered weapon you can get on the Onyx wheel. It's it's very rare though. It's very rare. I don't think we're gonna get Patriot Kid. Oh god, we will. Oh shit, my inventory was full. Ah, uh, let me get rid of that. Alright, there we go. So the Patriot set is actually pretty good. It's protection set on breaking six and it's actually i wouldn't say the best one but it's definitely up there guys it's definitely up there let's go and see if we can clear our inventory real quick all right guys there we go perfect let's go and open up the last box of chocolates and just cross our fingers that we are gonna get a sharp seven sword but as i said it is extremely rare so if we don't get it i don't really feel that bad because i know it's very rare mushroom cow disguise all right that's actually not that bad but all right that was the last chocolate that we can open there was a limited amount of days you can actually buy these packs of chocolates so it is all over now and we won't get another chance to get the sharp seven at least not from the chocolate box but all right to dig straight into what we're gonna do this episode first of all i'm gonna go in printer mode so i can fly a little bit faster right here but all right so we have a ton to do this episode the first thing i probably think we should do is trenching we have so much of the trends that we need to do if you remember from last episode if you haven't checked that out go ahead and do that right now but if you haven't seen it we actually trench the entire what is this the west side of our entire buffer which is pretty neat which is pretty nice but there's still so much more trenching to do so without further ado guys let's just go ahead and dig straight into this episode by doing a little bit of the trends All right, guys, there we go. As you can see, people have been working on the trades, but we have also been working on the trends. We actually only got the corner of our base left. All the buffers is taken and everything. It is actually pretty far down. So we're almost done, guys. Almost done trenching. We do need to gen in quite a lot of our trades, but it is on its way, guys. It is definitely on its way. Also, off camera, I have done quite a lot of work. I've made a ton of god sets. Not only one, but four total god sets ready to to pvp in if we find it necessary now i'm gonna be totally honest with you guys i'm gonna try to avoid getting trapped and stuff like that so i'm not gonna tp into somebody's cane farm or whatever but all right four sets is actually all right it's not bad we also got a few pickaxes right here and we also have some books right here we can uh, finish off we actually just got the patriot set so we could actually go ahead and make a new god set so we have four or even five fully patriot sets ready to go but that is most likely gonna be off camera but now that we got a little bit of the trends done how about i give you guys a tour around everything that's been going on the past i would say 24 hours since the last episode this right here is our current sugarcane farm. Someone accidentally TP'd another faction into a sugarcane farm. So right now, it's just kind of filled with traps and walls and yeah, weird stuff. We still have our blaze grinders in here that we use for guard sets. I'm pretty sure we're ready to move those into the main base very, very soon. But at the moment, they're still here. This right here is our spawn room. As you can see, we have all the trash spawners over in this corner. Going a little bit further over to the other corner, we have all our IGs, which is actually a pretty large amount. Then in the last corner over here, here we have all our creepers. This right here is the current position on the F top. Underneath the spawners, nothing have happened. We still have the collection area for the ITs and the creepers, and that is pretty much it. One room below that, we have all the vaults, so you can see people are already starting to move in. And outside the base, we are actually almost done trenching. We just need a tiny bit over here, which is not really a lot. 
So the faction will definitely be able to finish this small bit here in the next hour or so. We have done a large portion of the trace. There's still a little bit to go. So I think that's what we're going to work on next. But all in all, it is almost done. I've been using the acrobatic machine quite a lot. And I got 488 acrobatics with 1.4 chance to dodge and take 50% less damage. I changed up the acrobatic grinder just a tiny bit. And now you have to fall through two of the trap doors. But I think it might only be a bug on the Archon where you don't get XP from falling the same distance every single time. And I'm pretty sure that's everything that's been going on off camera. But as I said, we have a lot to do this episode. First we had the trends and now we have to finish off the trades. We have a good portion left in the wraps all the way over there. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and dig straight into it and yeah, let's get this done. Alright guys, and just like that, we finished off the entire trace, and now we can finally start genning. The trends also looks pretty good. We have about 20 minutes-ish left on the trends, and then that's pretty much done, and we can finally start genning. But alright guys, GG, trace, done, trends, another 20-ish minutes. So I'm pretty happy about that. I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the trends, but I'm just gonna go ahead and switch to something a little bit more interesting. It's time to place some spawners. I have here 10 endermans i have five zombie pigments and six creepers we need to place the endermans and the pigments over here along with the other ones we don't really make a lot of money from this but it's actually a good income next to our sugarcane of course we're not gonna go ahead and and spend money on these spawners it's only if we get them from crates or whatever raid events and whatever else we can get spawners from they're definitely not a priority but they make a decent amount of money so let's go ahead and just keep these placed to make a little bit of money that way next stop is placing all our creepers and creepers is what we prioritize at the moment we are gonna need a lot of tnt when the grace ends so our main focus has really been about getting creepers and iron golems the last thing we need to place is all our blazes so let's go ahead and get all of these placed i'm pretty sure this one is almost filled out this is actually filled out we need to go over to the other area over here and see if we can get some placed what the hell is this oh god well, I don't even know where I'm at right now. Oh, here we go, boys. All right, so I think that we have a little bit of space in this one right here. Yeah, we do. So I'm pretty sure we can go one more down without hurting the water. So let's go ahead and quickly get these placed. We have another two left. I'm going to place those right there. That looks good. Oh, we had we had more lines right there we could actually use. But anyways, but all right, guys, there we go. Everything is placed. Let's go ahead and dig into something a little bit different. I mean, what are we doing down here? Are we going to the end or what? Uh, end, I know. Going up to the end, but like we need like seven more. We need like seven more. Seven rounds. more, dude. I'm a seven man. About twenty to oh, make really? a good push. We need about. I'm a like, fucking I'm like, unit, dude. All right, what about post then? Let's go. Hunter, I'm a true demon, bro. That's why we jump. Bro, we're we just jump jumping just like that. All right. Uh, okay, so dealer boys. Follow he me. He said, "Don't jump yet," but all right, let's go. Then. I mean, we have 50%, 60% now. Yeah. And it's capped now. Oh, Wait, look, are, we, are we gonna wait for them to come? No, go warp in and clean the end up. Oh, F1 prep. And let's go. Oh, Fuck it, I'm jumping. I jumped. Don't die, Jack. Holy crap, I could do You all noobs. How do I get up Why are we going in? Guy entrance? Oh my god, it's a break this thing. Do I really have to waste a pearl? I wasted a pearl. Yeah, breaking it. I'm breaking it. Here, here, here. Prada. Go, 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 go. Chase him. Oh, oh. demons, bro. We already right, got you it. Let's go. Demons, get on them. I'm you have the units. We have silverfish. Why don't I have any volume? Yo, cat dealer's <laughs> not in this side. Oh, there's get, nothing you can do. Duty today. Oh, wait, wait. He's in the corner? He's panicking. Oh, shit. He's panicking. He's panicking. Well, once his gap goes down, he's dead. Oh, can you guys please quick him so I can shit talk him? Okay. Thank you. Alright, you gotta get my yeah, Everyone, just right stay in goal. this call if you stay in this call and make sure your set is on. Nah, I'm I gonna. Nah, I, I, I like to keep my set off. For real. Where the fuck yeah, did you go? Should, There's so many people like here. Chill day, kid. 
Oh, his helmet already broke. Oh, he, he's popped. <laughs> that was fast. All right, guys. So we went like 20 people to the end expecting a big battle. There was almost no one here. Either he left or there was just one guy grinding silver fish. But now we got the end. We got all the spawner caps covered and we make 1 million every single five minute per grinder spot. So we're making an absolute mad amount of money. However, I do think that they're gonna figure out that we are in the end very, very soon and other factions will come to try and take the outpost or sorry, the end from us. But I'm just gonna go ahead and grind these silverfish into a faction shows up and we can get a little bit of PvP. We have outpost now? We're literally beat now. We're in, we're arena. in arena. Yeah, we're, we're like, we're team fighting in arena. arena. Have you ever ah. seen a faction win f up by PvPing all day? Go hit Kane, idiots. Yeah. Bro, are you I, I'm oh, killer is actually no, 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 no. Dude, you're Dude, legit a random. Don't even talk to me. Get back to fucking mid. Goofing's Guys, we, I think we're getting, bro, I think we're getting outnumbered here. I Where are you? Ate my, life. my P7 broke. I was get out. Get out. Yeah, get out, get out early. Are we getting out? Guys, fight out. mid. Go mid. Don't fight outside mid. I can't go mid. I have no fucking boots. Oh yeah, shit. Yeah, oh shit. Guys, go mid, please. Or else uh, we're gonna get out number. Oh, oh fuck. Numbers. Shit! Fuck's sake. Dude, I'm getting I fucking out number. Oh shit! And there's so many people on me. There's so many people on me, dude. Go mid and help me out, please. There's so many people. I got a fucking football team on me. Dude, where is our fucking faction? There's too many people. Kite to the cane farm. Wait, where is that faction? What the fuck? Hide to the cane farm, I'll help you. I've got six jokers with them. You mean joker? Yes. Oh, a joker on the team. Oh, shit! Yeah, I need to get out of here. I need to touch again. I'm about to oh, I'm, in, I'm in fucking yeah. infected. I'm getting oh, there you go. Oh, dude, I can't get out, dude. I'm fucking horrible at fucking bow boosting. Alright. Oh. Should we go back? Yeah. Or no, somebody, yeah, guys, back. TP. Yeah, go back, fucking. Go back. <laughs> guys, TP, I need help. TP, TP, I need help. Oh my fucking, I get traced with you every time. I'll help you, I'll help you, Jesse. I popped another one. They know my gears, guys, TP, I need help. TP, right now. Nope, too late. I think that's going to be everything for this video. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the blaze farm and grind another fourth set. I lost the goddamn Patriot sets as well. I only have like one... I have one fucking Patriot set left. One single Patriot set. Right, I mean, that's what happens. There's nowhere to run and people just bow boost all over the place. I mean, you can't really see it on the recording, but there's literally people flying everywhere. If you ever been in a place where there's lots of flies and you just storm the entire room, that is, that is pretty much what it looks like. That that's pretty much what it looks like. But I'm gonna be honest guys, I am probably the most horrible bow booster on earth. I haven't done a lot of bow boosting, I've actually only played on servers that does not have bow boosting. Because bow boosting just gives an entire different feeling of PvP, you can easily get away, it's annoying, and all in all, it just kind of ruins PvP, at least that is my opinion. What is your opinion on the bow boosting? Leave a comment down below. Make sure you also like the video, subscribe to my channel, click the bell for your daily dose of Dexter, and I'll see you guys next time Dexter one one three Dexter one one three Dexter one one three Dexter one one three welcome friend every new day subs I'm gaining